So today is kind of a special day. Um, today is the one year anniversary of my diagnosis of ALS. Super fun. Um, I remember exactly a year ago today. I mean, getting the information um, to me, it wasn't that much of a surprise because I had been going to doctors for, or Dr. Walk and I guess other doctors for about two years at this point, so I was like, just wanted them to say it already, so it wasn't that much of a shock. Um, I mean, kind of hearing it is a little bit different, I guess, uh, kind of sucks to actually hear that that is the conclusion, but um, so he kind of gave me uh, a relative time limit to how much time he thinks I have left, and he said about 10 years, so a uh, year has already gone by, like flew by, that's so crazy, so I mean, obviously it's not for certain, but I don't have that much time left, like I'm probably going to die before 40. It's kind of crazy to think about, um, but my dad wasn't that much older than me when he died, so I guess I'm keeping the pattern alive, um, in a really shitty sort of way. Um, yeah, so, um, after I got my diagnosis, I went back to work for a couple weeks, and... Um, one morning I woke up and, um, I had went to put, put a shirt on and pants and wash my hair. Cause that's what I did every morning. Um, but this morning I remember it so perfectly. I washed my hair and at that point, like, it was even hard to like get my arms up enough to do that. So I did that, and I went to put my shirt on, and that was tough, and I went to put my pants on, and it was just too much for me. It was too hard. Like, just doing those few things took almost all my effort. It was crazy. So I just didn't go in, and I haven't been back since. and. It's, you know, you would think that not working would be so great, but it's been so much paperwork and so much laying in bed all day. I mean, that might sound nice, but honestly, if standing up from the bed makes you fall, it's not as fun as you think and it gets old real fast um and my income has been cut in half basically um it sucks it just sucks yeah and um i feel like over the past year i've kind of learned like what I can and can't do so the things that I can't I just try and avoid um so that means some days staying in bed all day long so the scariest thing in my life just happened <sighs> um I was at the computer and a big fucking white spider just beep, came down, landed on, on my computer and started walking towards me. You guys, you have no fucking idea how creeped out I am right now. Okay. Anyways, I had to change the location because... It crawled away and I don't know where it is. So, anyways, uh, what I was saying 
is that because I know my limits, that means someday, some days I stay in bed all day long because I know that if I get up and do anything, there's a huge risk of me falling on my face, falling on my ass, falling on my knees, and most days I just choose to avoid it. Um, um, and you know how there's all those country songs and stuff like that about having a different outlook on life like you were dying? It hasn't really given me a new outlook on life and I'm actually really upset about it because I have always been very like particular with how I like things done and I like things a certain way and I have like mild like perfectionism issues on certain things and um Honestly, none of that has gone away. And if you've ever pushed me in a wheelchair, you probably know how much anxiety I have about like hitting other people and like being in the way and like caring so much. I wish I could tell you that knowing that I was gonna die soon would like give me a, not like a rude attitude, but like more freeing inside me like to not worry as much about certain things but that has not gone away at all and it sucks I wish I was more like outgoing and a big list of things but knowing that I'm dying has not changed any of it which kind of sucks but um yeah yeah so the last year has been I mean boring I guess uh, I stay in bed a lot and I don't work and it sucks and um, but yeah I've met a lot of cool people lately um, that I really enjoy having in my life and all the people I already knew like I have I will say this all the time always and forever I have the best family and friends like, ever 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 you guys are my world and definitely the reason that I'm still here um anyways uh, that's all I really have to say is just today's my one year diagnosis anniversary um one more thing I wanted to add um recently uh I've been going um for the past couple months um it's once a month uh this ALS support group um, I actually met, um, a lady who's twice my age, but she's, her and her husband are just the most awesome people, and, um, she's, she's really been great, and she gave me this idea to go on adventures in my power chair. Brilliant, brilliant lady. Oh my goodness, that, the first time that I went, oh my gosh. I'm kind of sad that it's getting colder because now I can't, but I've been doing it pretty often and I just love it. Just going out and adventuring in in my new area, like, it's been so awesome. Like, that's one of the highlights of my days, um, just going on adventures. It's pretty awesome. 